It's another segment of the wine challenge at Sockland Wine Merchants with owner David Sockland. This time, I asked him to find three reds, $40 or less, 90 points or more. But actually, I'm going to push the envelope a little. It's 91 points or more, $40 or less. Can you pull it have off? You, have you done this before? Am I a test case for this? You're the test case. I'm so. ready. I'm ready. That's okay, fine. let's see. Fine. Okay, wine number one. Hmm. Stewed, a little bit of stewed cherries with this. Juicy. Hmm. It's hard. I mean, can you do you get a sense of where this is from or what this is? Sort of. I don't know. Grenache, or maybe I'm wrong, but it's hard. It's a toughie. It's it's a toughie. You're gonna be surprised. Rich. Very juicy, tangy. Juicy. Oh, maybe Chateauneuf or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's a, a juicy peanut. I don't know. It's lots of fruit, spices, and finish. It's very fruit forward style. The only hint is people who like this wine search for this style. I've we found. In a way, often I'm not really into big, juicy, jammy styles. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm not sure I could give it 91, but I want to go back to it. So let's try okay. the next one. Fair enough. Okay, wine number two. I'll be interested to see what you think of this one. I like that right away. I like the. I think spices. we have to work the other. I think we have to work the other one out of this glass. Oh. Ooh, it's nice. It's really coming up, sort of mead, subtle mead, spices, cedar. Lovely texture to this wine too. Silky tannins, really more velvety, and then beautiful acidity. Showing so much. I long, really like long. this. Oh, it's still there. Yeah. Wow. I, get, I mean, I'm enjoying it too much. I almost don't want to even write note on it. It's so good. It's it's really this is this could be the one. I'm 93 points on that. Excellent. Beautiful wine. It's a wine that's just I like, and it seems very very familiar. Maybe I don't know Italiano or something. It's beautiful. Let's see in a moment. It's really good. Oh, this is the only one that you've just kept coming back to. Yeah, I'm really loving that. Right. Right. Okay. Wine number three. And we have to go check out wine number one again. Round trip. Darker color. Wow. Let's see. I like the blueberries, minerals, flowers. Maybe even some licorice. Black licorice. This doesn't seem like a forty-dollar wine. Wow! Then it's the finish just sort of spins along and goes. Wow! Mega energy. Mineral. Mega energy. Very mineral. Mm. Licorice. One of the more complex wines of today. What I like about it is its uh, directness and focus, and it's so polished and beautiful. Firm. Let me check this out. 14, 23, 23, 4, 7. I'm like 93, 94 on that. Um, I'm going to stick with 93. I'm You're not going to stick with 94? No, I'm okay. going to be conservative on this. And I think it'll be better in two years. Very, very beautiful wine. So how long would a wine like this age for? Oh, I think it'll be better in two years, right? And uh, it'll age easily, uh, you know, ten or longer. It's a right. beautiful wine, right. but it drinks good now. Oh, it, well, it's the it's the balance, it's the clarity. Let's go back to the first one, which I had my doubts. I'm not so sure, you know. I'm not a great fan of jammy wines that are slightly stewed, and, and this one, the stewiness of the fruit is sort of bothering me. I think certain wines are inherently that. 
I think I think when you find out what this is, it might shed a little more light on it. And it really has that sort of sweet jammy fruit to it. It's just I couldn't really see drinking a lot of that. So I'm only 89 on that. So that's that's not my cup of tea. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. But the other two, I'm digging that. So great tasting. All right. Thank, uh, well, let's figure out what it is. So the first one that I gave 89. All right. It's a Chasseur Pinot Noir from Sonoma. It's a 2010. You know, it's California Pinot. It's uh yeah, I said maybe, I, I thought Chateauneuf or, or Grenache or a jammy right. Pinot, which it is. I'm just, too, I guess my palate's a little bit too Burgundian. I right. like the finesse and right. the freshness. Right, the second that Burgundy came out in the last flight, you, yeah. you flipped over it. This that is your, cuts, again, so. this is this is your stuff. 93. Yeah. I think that's what I actually the, gave it blind uh, originally. So From the 07 vintage, yeah. yeah. 32.99 for that? Well, how are you doing that? We're special. No, um, this the, you know, I think Brunello's, you know, we're doing the Brunello event. Yeah. They're, the, they're some of the best deals in wine. You don't get $32 top producer, top vintage wines in oh, other well regions done. for 32 that's bucks. On the money with that. And then lastly, this is this is a, another, that's a curveball. This is PSI by Peter Sisek from... Oh, um, well, sure. Yeah. Uh, he makes Pingus. Yeah, exactly. And this is a 2009. It's $37.99. It's amazing. Whoa, 90, oh, really liking that. Is that gar, is that Grenache, uh, and what is it? What, what's the blend on this one? Let's see. I'm gonna sit here. Doesn't say it's probably Garnacha Grenache. Well, great tasting. Um, particularly the last two. Those are really interesting wines that uh, that I'm um, digging a lot. Particularly the Brunello. Uh, that was a great call. I'm happy. I really liked it. Thanks, Thanks very again. much. Thanks again.